Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time joining me, welcome. And if not, welcome back. I'm Brianna and I have been content creating for the past 10 years. And here on YouTube, I make very sporadic videos about lifestyle, beauty, fashion, luxury, all of the things. And today we are going to do my t favorite top whatever. I don't know how many items I have here. I have quite a bit. Um, my favorite purchases of 2022. Now, I look like a disaster because I woke up and my eye was all swollen and I don't want to put any makeup on, any concealer or mascara, which is the only things that make me look alive um, on my face to not irritate it. So this is, this is as good as it's going to get. But I have quite a few things here and I've never done a video like this, but I'm really excited because I've seen people doing it on TikTok. And if you know me, if you follow me on social media, or if you read my blog, you know that I shop quite a bit. And that is going to be changing in 2023 because I need to grow up a little bit um, and stop shopping. But we're going to do my favorite purchases of 2022. Some of these items I will be repeats from my last video, which was my most used items in 2022. Because obviously if I'm using them a lot, they're my favorite purchases. So there will definitely be some repeat offenders. But I don't know how we're going to do this. I think I'm just going to start grabbing things because I have quite a bit here. Um, some of these are going to be beauty products. Some are going to be like random Amazon items. And some are going to be bags and fashion. Let's start out with what I'm wearing. This is the Anine Bing Paris sweatshirt. I had been eyeing this for years and finally something happened to me in early fall where I was like I am gonna spend um, over a hundred dollars on a sweatshirt and I did and it has been it has become my uniform I do not take the sweatshirt off you have to literally pry it out of my hands to put it in the laundry I love it so much it's so comfortable it is not too heavy like I don't really sweat in this because the material it, it, it's such a unique material which sounds so strange it's not like a regular nike fleece sweatshirt it's not like your typical graphic sweatshirt it feels like more well made and it feels more like fitted um and it's a sweatshirt that I feel a little more put together in and I love it and it is hands down one of my if not my favorite clothing purchase of the year however there is one more thing but there's a bunch of stuff on top of it so We'll, we'll get into that. We're going to, like I said, we're going to pick up random things. Second is the Paper, P-P-R. I don't know how to say this brand. It's P-A-P-I-E-R. P-I-E-R. Yeah. And it's these notebooks. Um, and I, this is my work notebook, but it is like, and I have a few others. I have my wellness journal, um, that I use every day is the hardcover. I have a bunch of soft cover notebooks, but I just, let me see if I have an empty page. Yeah. It's just like the perfect notebook. It's the perfect size. It's the perfect shape. It's, it's compact enough that I don't feel like I'm writing, um, like I, I feel like I can bring this with me to work and it won't like add to the weight of my bag and it's like compact enough that I could like carry it with me everywhere but not too small that I feel like I'm not getting any writing done. Oh, here's the, the name of the, oh my goodness, there it is. Um, I love it. They have so many different designs, so many different types of um, inside, so many different types of covers. You could do hardback, you could do softback, you could do um, like gold lined. This is just regular, but these are my favorite notebooks. I think of all time. I just find them to be really seamless. The paper is very good. Um, it has, um, it comes with a bookmark. It's just perfect. And I actually need to order, um, one for my journal like my daily journal like my diary because I am using a moleskin one right now and while I love moleskin um actually maybe I'll just get them I don't know but while I love moleskin I'm just kind of like in this vibe so this is definitely a favorite of the year for sure next up 
this is so random and i've talked about this on social media and my blog but this is the love wellness vitamin organizer i bought this kind of on a whim um because i have a i take medicine every day then i take my uh, i take a few different kinds of supplements i take multivitamins um and most of the supplements i take are from love wellness so it was just like a lot that i was having to do each day and i was forgetting to do it so i feel like let's go old school let's act like an 80 year old man and get a vitamin organizer and obviously it had to, it couldn't be like a normal one i had to get like a branded one so this is the love wellness one from their website ulta has one that is red but i wanted the purple and it just has like all the days of the week but morning and night it is like a hard plastic almost like a pencil case and it was $15 and I just made my life so much easier um I fill it up every week like every Sunday um and it's just perfect it keeps me on track and I love it so much it's made my life very very easy this year um let's do another random this is more of like a brand that i really loved in 2022 and that brand is mej after seeing all the tiktokers and all of the influencers and like reading so much about her and i'm just taking the hair out of my brush because it's a little gross um i just needed to get on the mej bandwagon i bought a few clips last year for their juicy couture collab it's in my but these this is my newest one from the um winter collection so it's just she sells hair accessories and um these are like some of the best claw clips i've ever used because i have a lot of hair i have a lot of thick hair so it is hard for me to find something that is going to hold my hair in place um and like i didn't even this is like how i like wear it because i usually just wear it in the house but I can never put my hair in a claw clip because it doesn't hold itself up. And I never have been able to until now. And it's like, it's secure. It's not really going anywhere, but like, I mean, it's messy. So whatever, but they're the best clips, the best clips. They bring me so much joy. There's so much, there's so many different kinds. I have this one that it's like a beige um, and has like the little rhinestone stars. I have a, like I said, I have a juicy one. I have a glitter one. I have a um, brown one and I, I just love it. They're, they're the perfect clips, the perfect size, like super old school, like 90s, early 2000s. Um, and the whole brand is just very aesthetic. And then she released brushes. So this is her bamboo brush, China. And um, like I said, I, I go through hair brushes quite a bit because my hair is, like I said, very unruly. Um, it's straight now, but it's usually like, it's a little crazy. Um, and I needed something that was gonna be easy on my hair. I don't use this, on my wet hair I have a wet brush for that so I um I opted for this because I know that like bamboo is supposed to be better for your hair or whatever but really I wanted a pretty paddle brush like like I said old school like late 90s early 2000s paddle brush because that that's the best I think the best for my hair and I feel like my hair has been looking and feeling really nice this year granted I think I have been taking better care of it than previous years but that's another topic um I just love it it's nice and sturdy it's so beautiful I obviously got the pink marble but they have so many different kinds um I get a lot of my MEJ from Revolve because they have it and it's two day free shipping and it's just easy um but it's just a really great brush and this has become definitely one of my favorite brands of the year um let's do some random amazon favorites this is so random but i bought a little chargeable fan i don't know why but um i just felt like i needed it and my goodness this has come in handy so much 
I brought it to Disney World, which I think is like kind of where I got the idea from was like Disney bloggers and influencers um, because they always had some sort of fan in their bag, which makes a lot of sense no matter where you are, whether you're in Florida or California, it's very hot. I bought this to Disney. It was a game changer. It was a lifesaver. It was incredible. But what is even better for this is when I'm on the bus or the subway during the summer. I get so hot on the bus and the subway. Even if there's air conditioning, I still feel like I I can't breathe. And I used this so much on my commute this summer that it was it was like the best purchase. I think it was $12 on Amazon. I'll link as much as I could down below. This was the best. It has two speeds. It recharges. It has um like I don't know. I don't think it's the same as your iPhone, but like typical USB charger, it comes with it. It's just the best. It comes in a bunch of different colors, super compact. It's like the size of your phone, even smaller. And I think that if you commute or if you get hot very easily, you should definitely, definitely pick that up. Now, the other thing was that I have been trying to figure out how the hell I could read at night that's not on my Kindle or my Nook or my iPad. I tried a bunch of different reading lights. My sister took one of my reading lights, so I was like, okay, I'll, I'll, um, let me find a different one. I tried a few different ones this year, ones that, like, go behind the page, and they, they're shaped like a book, and uh, it was just a disaster. Then I saw somebody, I think, on TikTok talking about this one. So it folds up like that, and it has the little light on the top. It has a warm light and a cool light and it bends so it's like very useful and it turns off by holding the button and it has this clear thing so I use been using this all year really great then last week or a few maybe no maybe like at the beginning of the month I realized I didn't realize why if you could see, you see it has the metal part on the back and it has a clear part on the front. I was just taking this whole clear part and just putting it in the front of my book and it worked just fine. And then I realized the whole thing was that this was a bookmark. So you're supposed to put the pages in between the clear and the metal. And obviously after, you, after that, like it became, um, much easier to use but I loved it either way using it right or wrong I think that it's helped me read more print books this year I have an awful lot of print books um and I try to be re I try to I like to be reading at least one print hardcover softcover book at a at a time and just makes it easier for when I'm in bed at night and I don't want to read on my kindle or my nook that I have this light um okay one more amazon this is my amazon jewelry box i waxed poetic about this all year long i think i got this in like february um and i used to have all my jewelry set up in, on that shelf over there in little trees and it was fine but then I realized it was just so cluttered and I just like couldn't stand it anymore. So I bought this jewelry box from Amazon and it has completely changed the way I wear my jewelry. Now this is, I don't, the only good jewelry I have is Tiffany's and though that stays in there in a Ziploc bag in the dust bag with all the air taken out of them to prevent the tarnishing. I have, um... I have like a nice pair of David Yearman earrings that I just got for my birthday. I have some other like nicer pieces, I guess. Um, and those are in a different jewelry box. This is like all my gold jewelry. And then I have another jewelry box for my silver jewelry, which has some of my nicer pieces mixed in. This is like more of my costume jewelry. Um, though I do have my two Louis Vuitton bracelets in here. But... It's just, it's just perfect. I have a few different necklaces up here. This little earring um, uh, organizer comes out. And then you have the jewelry tray. So I have 
I don't want to like tip it over. I have my rings and then I have some other like earrings and rings here. And then like, this is that Ana Luisa bracelet that I just got. Um, some of my bigger rings like this Kate Spade one and this Miranda Fry one um, stay in the um, like in these sections. And then underneath, I just have some like larger bracelets. So I have like a vintage bracelet. I have some Tory Burch over here. So everything just like stays like nicely organized and I'm able to see what I have. I'm able to see what's missing. It's just the absolute perfect, perfect jewelry box. I originally wanted a jewelry box last year for Christmas and I asked my mom to get me one and she was like, this is like it, it they all felt very babyish they were all very big and I was like okay fine like I'll like figure it out and I was looking and I saw this one on Amazon and I read the reviews and they said that they were really great so I just ordered it on the on a whim I think it was under $50 I don't remember but it's so nice it feels really um luxe I think this is like a faux leather I don't even know but it's just perfect I love it so much and it's completely just changed everything for me um, we'll do a few more. This is so random. I'm cheating a little bit because I've only had these for about two months, but I've had the other products, which I didn't bother to pick up, um, since the brand launch. But those are the, it's the Lemmy Gummies from Kourtney Kardashian or Kourtney Kardashian Barker. Um, I am a Kardashian stan. I am a Kardashian apologist. I love them so much. Courtney is my least favorite. I wouldn't even like put her in the category of like, like I just can't stand her. Um, let's cut that out. Um, I am a Kardashian stan. I'm a Kardashian apologist. I have given them so much of my money. I have bought everything. I have Skims. I have Good American. I have Kylie Cosmetics. I have Skin. I had KKW Beauty. I had Kylie Skin. And um, now I have Lemmy. And I have to say, Courtney's not my favorite. She is on the bottom of the totem pole when it comes to Kardashians that, Kard Jenners that I like. However, if I am going to trust a Kardashian with something. It's going to be Courtney and it's going to be wellness because the woman is nuts. So when she was coming out with a vitamin brand or a supplement brand or whatever, I was like, I was intrigued. Then I heard the name and I was like, that's genius. And then I saw the packaging and I was like, that's incredible. Give me everything. I now have, ev I now have, have every gummy she makes. She has let me sleep, let me chill, let me, um, I think it's Lemmy Awake or Lemmy Energy, something like that. And it's like B12, Lemmy Debloat and Lemmy Focus. I am, my favorites right now are Lemmy Sleep, Lemmy Focus and Lemmy Chill because they actually really work. Like when I take a Lemmy Focus, I get so much work done because I do have trouble focusing during the day while I'm at work. No matter if it's at work or at home, I have trouble focusing. So it's like just, it's just the best. I bought the Lemmy Sleep Gummies. These things should really come with a warning label because I fall asleep within 10 minutes. I stay asleep the entire night. I do not wake up feeling groggy. I wake up feeling rested. And I, but then also if you wake up in the middle of the night, you might feel a little drunk, which sounds so crazy, but you, if you'll know what I mean, you feel groggy and almost dizzy if you wake up in the middle of the night, because I feel like you're disrupting what these are doing. They're made with melatonin and chamomile. Um, they're, it's $30 for a 30 pack, which is not, it's like a dollar of vitamin, fine. Um, I wouldn't take the Lemmy sleep every night because I felt myself, I felt like I needed them to sleep, which is, is not ideal. But I have to say, they taste delicious. They don't have that weird, like, sugar coating on it. These are the Lemmy sleep. Um, sometimes I find that 
gummies have that weird sugar almost like sour patch um coating on it and I hate it but these are these are so good these are hands down like a standout wellness product this year for me um Courtney really like did something and I'm really excited to see what she comes out with next um I'm so so happy with this entire brand and I, I if you even if you don't like the Kardashians if you don't trust them or whatever but if you are like into wellness and supplements or you just are looking for a really good sleep aid I recommend this obviously talk to your doctor all that stuff I'm not a doctor blah 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 but um I, I, I cannot, I cannot recommend Lemmy enough. They're, it's so good. Okay, let's try to run through this quickly because I have a few more like miscellaneous items and then we'll get into some beauty. Kindle, I'm not gonna talk more about this. I, this is my Kindle Paperwhite. Um, I'm obsessed. It's the best. And yeah, this was, I talked more about this in my last video, but definitely I bought this in early January. The, one of the best purchases of the year for sure. I like it so much better than my other Kindle and I've definitely used it more than my Nook this year. Um, not going to talk more about this. This is the simple modern, uh, tumbler. This is the one that I don't know if I had this when I filmed my other video. Oh no, I think I, I filmed, I had the, my pink one. This is like a winter one that I got. Um, it has like, it's supposed to have like a sweater detailing, but it was so cute. I ordered it right from the Simple Modern website. And it came with the um, coffee top um, cover, coffee cover, like that you, so you could like sip out of it. Um, I guess it was be a, it would be a hot drink cover um it's just so good I put that ice in there hours ago the best if I think if I had to choose one thing and this is probably the best purchase of the year by far not going to talk too much about this Louis Vuitton GM agenda I will never go back to other sizes I will never tr experiment with my planner again this is it for me i use this every day this is like my catch-all like almost like a binder i borderline wish that there it would, i had a bigger planner than this because it's just so good it's so beautiful it's so sleek part of me wants um another uh leather but i won't do that because i'm supposed to not be shopping which will be i think i might do another video on that so GM agenda, if you're looking to buy a Louis Vuitton agenda and you don't want an agenda that you're going to be taking with you everywhere, like you won't kind of want it to just be like an, almost like an at home or at work type of thing. Or if you drive to work or you don't mind carrying around a bigger planner, don't even bother with the other ones. The GM is the only one that you need. Um, okay, I'm gonna do a few. Actually, I have forgot I have some other things. But speaking of fashion, I said that this was a favorite. <sighs> ah. I bought this Ralph Lauren coat during the Nordstrom anniversary sale on a com where's the there's the emblem on a complete whim. It was like the last day of the sale. I saw it and I was like, that's a beautiful jacket. I needed a new everyday, kind of lightweight, kind of not, like jacket that wasn't um, a long coat. Like I needed a jacket that I could wear in the rain, that I could wear in the snow or that I, whatever. I just needed a new jacket. And this is absolutely gorgeous. The most beautiful green color. You have the like the nice little detailing on the sleeve the inside is like Ralph Lauren plaid you have the hood it does not detach I feel like it was really hard for me to find a jacket that had a hood um you have the really nice detailing on the hood this gorgeous crust yeah focus like how stunning the quilting makes it look very classic there's really nice deep pockets you could cinch the waist it hits me like right at my knee so it like kind of covers me but not completely it doesn't go down to the floor 
it matches everything it keeps me warm but not I don't sweat in it which is great um it fits what size I got an extra large yeah um it's Lauren by Ralph Lauren or Lauren by La Ralph Lauren however you choose to say it it's a zipper but it also has the snaps it is just the best coat oh my I cannot I I actually have to like stop myself from wearing it like I've worn this to dinner I wear this to work I wear it to run my errands I haven't touched another coat um I think I wore my long like teddy bear coat <coughs> on Christmas Eve and that was it like I have not worn another coat it is hands down the the best one I'm gonna leave that there now let's talk about bags Prada Galleria, hand, probably my favorite purchase of the year. I bought it in March from Fashion File. Um, this is the, like, mini size um, in a, like, patent shiny leather. I talked about this in my other video. It's just, I love this bag so much. It's, like, so me. It's, it's structured and small, but it it has that little bit of flair with like the color and the leather type. I just love it so much. And I could not, while I definitely used the Prada more, I couldn't do this video without mentioning that 2022 was the year of Chanel for Brianna. And I cannot believe that I own two Chanel bags. The Diana bag has been my dream bag, um, I think, for like four or five years, ever since I discovered it. And the, the person I discovered it from was Alyssa Lenore um, here on YouTube and on Instagram. This obviously is not in the best condition, but I don't care. I love her. I almost would rather it not be in perfect condition because I don't want to um be scared to use it she is lambskin she has some scratches and but she is also 30 years old she is the same age as me um and when I was able to buy this I just I, I couldn't believe it and then because one was not enough I saw this bag and time stopped I opened this bag when I received it and I started crying because this is a gorgeous Chanel bag. Like probably one of the most beautiful Chanel bags I have ever seen. It is lambskin. It is in practically brand new condition. I don't think that there is anything on this. It is so unique. Let's see up close. It has... It is rather small, which I should probably do of what's in my bag, um, but it's not the biggest. Oh, what's that? Oh, I was looking for these. I used this on Christmas. Um, it's just beautiful. I've always wanted a beige Chanel. I love the color blocking. To me, black and beige color blocks scream Chanel. I think of the shoes. Um, I just love this bag. I love both of these bags. They do, they, I've... I was very afraid to use this because she is in perfect condition and she is beige. I was very scared to use it. I've gotten a lot more comfortable using this over the past few months. The black one I use more because like I said, I'm, I was really afraid to use this, um, but I'm getting over that. So it's just, oh, they're beautiful and I, I couldn't not mention them because they are definitely, while I might have not used them, so much um they're definitely my favorite some of my favorite purchases now let's get into some makeup um as i film this it's the last week of december and on my blog royallypink.com i have shared all of my favorite items so um on tuesday i shared favorite beauty products of the year on Wednesday, the day I'm filming this, it's favorite books of the year and tomorrow favorite products of the year. These are my favorite purchases. So I included a lot more items in this video, almost like an extension of what was on the blog. Um, but these, these beauty products, I am 
talking about, I purchased this year. So that's why I just want to give that caveat. We'll start off with something I have talked about before. It is the Josie Moran Argan Apothecary Intensive Daily Repair Body Butter. I have very dry skin. My eczema is out of control right now. Um, they, uh, Josie Moran sent me a tub of this, the first, my first tub, earlier this year because um, it was a new launch. Um, I went through the whole thing. It is a gorgeously thick, luxurious body butter that um, saves my skin. It is approved by the National Eczema Association. Um, it's eczema relief with argan oil and colloidal oatmeal, which is really um, all you need when it comes to eczema prone skin. Um, and it's just, it's a lifesaver. One of the best beauty products of the year by far. Then we have, and I don't remember, I think I, I don't remember. I think I purchased these this year. I definitely purchased the majority of them this year, if anything. But they are the Too Faced Killer Liners. Total Control 36-Hour Waterproof Liner. I have every single color. Um, these right here, I just grabbed random shades. Killer Storm, Killer Cashmere, and Killer Caramel. The caramel I definitely use probably the most. I love to just like get a really tight line with it um killer cashmere I put on my waterline and I don't think I've used killer storm yet no this is a new one that I got um they're the best eyeliners I have a feeling Too Faced is discontinuing them because they've been on sale everywhere um and if that's true I'll be very sad but at least I have every single color um they have a lot of different colors. I have a really beautiful blue, a really beautiful plum, a bunch of different browns. Um, they're just, they're very smooth. They're, they stay put. That's the caramel. Like, they're pigmented. They're not, um, I mean, like, I just, you could smear it out a little. Let's, like, let it dry and, and set and see what happens uh, at the end of the video, but... They're just the best eyeliners. They're a straight up pencil. You can sharpen them, even though it looks like you can't. Um, I just love them so much. I don't know if I've ever loved an eyeliner the way I love these. And the packaging is so cute. I mean, it's pink with a little color on the top, on the bottom. They're like a nice hard plastic. Um, it's easy to tell which color is which. They're just gorgeous. I love them. Next up is... Next up is, um, it's a La Mer lip balm. So I think I've mentioned it here. Um, I've definitely mentioned it elsewhere, but I got a new job this year. I work now at Estee Lauder. Like I work for the Estee Lauder brand, but obviously it's Estee Lauder companies. La Mer is owned by Estee Lauder. So I get a discount and this is the La Mer the La Mer cream was the first thing I bought when I got my job this year. Um, but I bought the lip balm on a whim. It smells like peppermint. It's in the little tub, so that's like has a strike against it. But I have to say, this is such a beautiful lip balm. My lips have been really chapped the past few weeks because the weather has been crazy. And this just feels like it repairs my lips. It's not even that it's hydrating it. It feels like it's fixing them. I just love this lip balm so much. It is pricey. I think it's $50. It smells like peppermint. It just is super luxurious. Um, it's like definitely a treat. Um, I, I just love it. It's There's like no... It's a no fuss lip balm. You, it's not. It hasn't given me an allergic reaction, which happens with a lot of lip balms. Like the only other lip balm I could really use, are is the Glossier um, Balm.com, which is always a favorite, and the um, Sugar Fresh Sugar lip balms. But this, by far, was like such a standout product. I leave it next to my nightstand. I leave it on my nightstand next to my bed, and apply it before bed. Like I said, I have been using it so much more the pe like once the weather changed because it's just incredible um this i mentioned in my favorite beauty products 
of the year, but it is the Dior Backstage Concealer. I have this, I don't even know what shade I have, um, 3N, but you could see the brush, it looks like a paintbrush or a um, flat um, foundation brush, but the packaging is stunning. But I have to say this covers my dark circles like no other. It is a caffeine infused and hydrating formula that's medium coverage, but I feel like I can build it up to full. Um, and when I use this, my dark circles are pretty much gone. But then when I use this, when I use a corrector underneath, my dark circles are non-existent. You could see, <sighs> whoa, my dark circles are really bad. Like I have very, very bad dark circles. I have CeraVe on my eyes right now, so, like healing ointment. So that's why they're shiny. But you could see, like, it looks like I got punched in the face. But this takes that all away. It's probably, I have a love affair with concealers. I'm constantly looking for the latest and greatest concealer to help my dark circles. But this definitely took the cake this year. It was so good. Um, And then, this is random. And I kind of just grabbed it because it is something that I really loved. But it's also cheating because I only got it, like, I think the last few months of the year. I think I bought it in, like, October or, or September. And it is a Tom Ford eyeshadow palette in 28 De La Creme. I, um, Tom Ford is owned by Estee Lauder, so I got this for like a stupid price. But this is the eyeshadow quad. And I've always been super curious about Tom Ford beauty and Tom Ford shadows, especially. The quad, it just is like very, like, it's obviously a neutral, but it's stunning. I mean, these shadows are so smooth like that's crazy like look at that it's like the perfect matte brown um well yeah that's yeah that's like a light brown you have like a gorgeous shimmer but not really it's more of like a satiny highlighter then you have like this brown and then this smooth chocolate brown and it's they're just gorgeous shadows and probably I'll, I'll, I'll wipe my hands later probably like some of the most beautiful shadow formulas I've ever used in my life and this is like this has become like an everyday eyeshadow palette I will take either whoa I will take either this or this put it in my crease Maybe I'll smoke a little on of the darker shade on my waterline. Oh, you can kind of see me. Um, but it's just like a beautiful, easy, no fuss palette. Beautiful formula, beautiful colors. I'm just, and the packaging is stunning. So I had to include it because it's something that I've used quite a bit. And just like a really a standout purchase for me this year. Another standout purchase was the Pat McGrath Bridgerton collection. I should have really, I'm going to include my lip, the lipsticks from this collection as well. I have three of them. Um, and I have to say there were the, some of my most used lipsticks of the year, but I also really loved the palette. Um, the highlighter stunning. This blush was like much loved and the pink blush, not as much, but what I loved to do with this palette this year was take all three shades and swirl them together and use that as my blush even like this like bright pink which is and the formula I mean nothing comes close to a Pat McGrath face product in my opinion um there it's just it was just stunning and Bridgerton had me by the balls this year so really I mean the packaging gorgeous I couldn't get enough but this was definitely a standout face product because when I traveled um do you know no I got this before but I wore it like constantly like this was my go-to palette um my really my go-to cheek product aside from rare beauty pinch blushes which was in, also included in my um favorite beauty products of 2022 but I didn't really necessarily buy them in 2022 but this I bought 
so yeah that is everything um I shopped a lot I bought some great stuff I tried some great stuff but yeah it's cr crazy but it was a it was a good year for um product not a great year for my wallet but it is what it is I love my stuff and I have some great items here so I will link as much as I could down below um, but thank you for watching. If I do not see you um, for the rest of the week, happy new year. And I will catch you in 2023. Bye.